Hey guys, so within this program, it's really important that we try to achieve something called progressive overload. Now, progressive overload is already built into your program through the different reps and set schemes that we've picked. Overall, I'm manipulating volume and intensity, but there's another part of it, and this is where you come in. So every time you hit your program, we need to be challenging the body, we need to be challenging your system to adapt. So you're gonna be needing to do one of two things. The first thing to induce progressive overload is within your program, you need to get stronger. So don't be scared to go up to that next level, level of weight where you're gonna be able to then achieve a greater stimulus. The second thing is, and you will have already seen it, we've built failure methods into the program. So these are things like drop sets, these are things like tri sets, these are things like extended sets. All these things will do is influence the activity of creation of either brand new muscle cells or make the existing muscle cells and the metabolic infrastructure within it work harder. The end result means that we're going to be able to lose body fat whilst keeping or even potentially building some muscle tissue. This is perfect if you're looking to transform your body. So progressive overload is going to be central to those results.